All, All right. right. So you take care. Have fun. <laughs> Hello? Hey, Aurelia. How are you tonight? Hello, Miss Goddesses. The Goddesses for BBW. You go, girl, looking like a queen that you are. Oh, Look yeah. Look at your bling and shining in your beauty queen crown. Whoa. Did you see this here Pedro over there putting on my shoes? Wow, you are amazing. I'm jealous. I wish I was there drinking a little bit of soda pop with you, girl. But that's okay. Listen, you're home with your other half having a great time, and that's important to be with him. <clears throat> Yes, absolutely. I'm sorry I couldn't uh, make it tonight, but I, I'm calling you up to let you know that you look fabulous. Thank you. Compliments of Pedro. He, yeah. he did my hair tonight and he makeup. Did. I gave him a chance to prove to me what he can do. Oh my it's God. not too oh, bad, considering. Job. He did, he did a pretty a good job, job, right? Thank yes. you, thank you. I try, I try. Yeah, and he even I put on my shoes. Yeah. So, Aurelia, I know you have Chico to help you, but he's willing to go shopping and carry bags. I'd like to see Chico's face right now. Oh, yeah. I'm going to take a picture and text it to you so you Tell, can show it Show me a TV. picture because I would like to see his face to see if his jaw <laughs> dropped. <laughs> look at me like, oh, no, you're not. Ask her if she's had a dream lately. Oh, Aurelia, have you had a dream lately? A what lately? A dream. A green? A dream. When you're sleeping, you dream? Oh, yes, many dreams. Well, what are some of the dreams? You, would you like to share one? Matilda could uh, help you out. Okay. Um... Most of them are naughty. I don't think I could say them on the air. <laughs> oh, Matilda, when you have naughty dreams, what would you say about that? Well, uh, that there's a part of you that's desiring for the, the whatever takes let's, place in the dream to happen in real life. Let's leave it up to your imagination. Oh. I'll just say that you're, she has you're needing more, more time you're, to think. <laughs> Aurelia, you're needing more of what you're already getting. Ah! Dream Not big. Like you look beautiful. Oh, you're, you're too good. She does. Kind. She always looks beautiful. You're too you good. You know what? Adorable. I love you. I love Matilda. She's like my favorite girl. Oh, you see? All I right, just want to take let second the place. No, Aurelia. I just want to let everybody. I'll make it up to you. I will come back next month. And no problem. I'll, I'll I just want to let everybody know that this is Goddesses That You're Watching, and I'm your host, Nancy Goddess, tonight for Big Beautiful Women and Men Who Love You. So don't change that dial. And we have Aurelia on the phone. We have Matilda here. And we have Pedro, just to let everybody know in the audience. So Aurelia, we will see you soon. We'll meet up for coffee or dessert. Wonderful. We'll have both coffee and dessert. Absolutely. And dream big, Aurelia. <laughs> Absolutely. Best new dreams for you guys. I love you. Have love a you good too. night. Good night, Chico. And happy birthday, Aurelia. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Boy, this is Don't really getting to me. Cheers. This is getting to you? Yeah, I'm kidding. It's all that sugar rush. It is. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> so, yeah, this is um, our new time slot every fourth Friday of the month. Yes. And a lot of viewers know about it and some don't. And I think there's someone on the we phone. We have a caller. Yes, hello. Hi, caller. What's your name? Hello, this is Fernando. Fernando, como esta? <laughs> oh, bien, bien. Where are you from, Fernando? I really don't know, but I really don't want to say where I'm from because I'm afraid. He's afraid. You're afraid to say where you're from? I'm afraid because I like the big black women. You like the what big, kind of women? Big I like women? Big, big black women, big beautiful women, all kinds of women. Oh, you like Especially, big black women? I like them big. The very big ones. You like super BBWs. <laughs> so would you say you like them 300 okay. pounds or more? And more. Yes, I like 300 pounds, 350. Oh, uh, I'm only minimum. 300 pounds, so I guess I don't fit in. Well, I think you're beautiful. I'd like to talk to the, the lady about the dreams. Oh, absolutely, oh. Fernando. What's your question? Well, my question was, I like I have these dreams that I'm out with a big, beautiful woman, really big one, and <laughs> I order lobster. 
Did he say a lobster? I like to order lobsters. Oh, he likes to order lobsters. So I order the lobster, but I don't, I don't eat it. I, I just lick it. For some reason, we're having a problem hearing yeah. the... Um, can you repeat that? You have dreams and that... I have dreams. Uh -huh. I have dreams that I'm out with a big, beautiful woman. And I'm sitting there, you know, with ordering lobster. But I'm not eating the lobster. I'm just licking the lobster. He's not eating the lobster, but I'm not he eating it. I'm just licking it, and then licking I get pissed off, oh, and I slap that shit off my table. <laughs> <laughs> I well, like that I shit. hope I like it tastes that. good as you're doing that. Well, uh, when you go to bed, do you feel hungry? <laughs> do you feel hungry when you go to bed? <laughs> Fernando. So could I. Well, Fernando must have got disconnected oh, somehow. I know. But when you get dreams like that, you're right. Maybe he was hungry. Yes. But it's I'm just... thinking he was hungry for that woman he uh -huh. was dreaming of. Y yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What do you think, uh, uh, Matilda? Yeah, uh, yes, you did it, and you hit it right on the nail. <laughs> and I'm not going to elaborate, OK? <laughs> No, but see, on the serious side, this is like a really fun show, but on the serious side, Matilda really is serious about dreams. Okay. We're making fun right now about everything, but she really is very serious, and um, she... You know, Nancy, it's the same thing, like, lobster. sometimes in... Lobster, yeah, I was like, wow, lobster, yeah, yeah. I, I like lobster. I said lobster, not tuna. Ah, <laughs> well, he has so, an expensive so we're taste having a good in the time dream. here, and you know, I didn't bring out all my goodies. I had so many tricks in the bag. I had my big, beautiful woman. Put it here. And I even wore roses tonight. You did. Listen, rose petals. Oh. Oh, my God. Rose petals. You're all petals. prepared. Did you have a lipstick in there or a lip gloss? Ah, you needed Look some? at that. Look my at lips are dry. the roses, the rose petals. Oh, they're so beautiful. Oh, are they my fragrant? God. They're fragrance, yeah, mm -hmm. for, oh, they for Valentine's. Oh, they're like a to, soap. Oh, how beautiful. Oh, yeah, they smell good. They're like to put all no, I don't around. Think, are they a soap? No. Yeah. No, it's just like to put on your bed. I'm sure Aurelia could appreciate that. Rosebuds all oh, over the bed. Yeah, oh, it's beautiful. It smells nice. Mm -hmm. So that would be a great idea for um, Valentine's. Yeah. Very, uh, very nice. Rose petals all over with some nice chocolate no and a thorns. glass of wine, nice thorns, a yeah. nice massage, or even a jacuzzi. Yeah, set up the... So plan it for your loved ones out there, a really happy Valentine's Day. And if you don't have a loved one, you can call up a friend. And if you don't have a friend, just go out on your own and just treat yourself. Treat yourself. Treat, treat yourself. yourself today. Don't wait for tomorrow. Do it now, mm -hmm. because we only have one life to live. True. You have to enjoy it now. You know, Nancy, going back to the dream. Yes. So many times when we go to sleep and we don't realize it, we have a full bladder. And in, you, you begin to dream mm -hmm. that you're going to the bathroom. You, you dream that you're urinating. And, really? if you're not, and, and if you're not careful, you may urinate in bed. Because no, because it happens because you think that you're really in the toilet. Is that exactly. what you're saying? Exactly. You really believe that you're going to the bathroom. But that's because you have a full bladder. Wow. And we're and that talking happens. to Matilda, if everyone doesn't know, and we just came into Channel 34 at Goddesses. And your name of your uh, show again? It's Till Division Ideas. And you have a live show every... Every third Friday of the month. Every third Friday of the month. On Channel 34. And... Uh, if you look up on the YouTube, so you'll see, I, we just loaded one, oh, one of wonderful. the shows. And that so we did. we're planning on doing like after parties, like tonight is the fourth Friday, but because of the snowstorm that is coming, someone just told me it's gonna happen at 10 o'clock. That's why, as you can see, our chairs are empty. Everyone's afraid to come out, but we're, we're here. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and, and so is Pedro. Pedro traveled all the way from the city. From the city, mm -hmm. wow. Manhattan. Where in the city, Pedro? Yeah, but what's that? Okay. Yeah, so I, I take the one train downtown and then take the seven up. Mm -hmm. It's not that bad of a okay. ride. It wasn't too bad, right? No, no. Okay. Wonderful. Wonderful. All right. And I'm so glad you did. And how did you meet Pedro? 
on my meetup page, and he watches me on my Manhattan Network. I have a show, a goddess's show. I've been doing this for over 20 years, all volunteer. Mm -hmm. So it, maybe you were underage at the time when you first started watching yeah. goddesses. <laughs> <laughs> the shows used to come on at different hours and at 1 30 in the morning yeah. on monday morning it's still on one monday morning in manhattan religiously nancy you have it on your cell phone uh, the, um, the, uh you know i'm on friday <coughs> in queens mm -hmm. and i'm on saturday in queens at 11 30 friday channel? channel 56 mm -hmm. and 11 p.m saturday channel 56. Oh, okay so you're good all so right. that's for the new year. So we're on twice a week. So if anybody wants to be on the show, if they have something to talk about, we're going to be doing pre-taping. Mm -hmm. We're going to be doing that. We're, we probably may be going to people's establishments, homes, or businesses, and and film right then and there and interview people. Mm -hmm. That sounds exciting. So yeah, we're going to be doing that, and we're going to be doing on location and after party after our show. So I think that would be good. But we can't do it in the snow. In the you winter. know what I was yeah, thinking, Nancy? A, a cruiser, one of those cruisers, mm -hmm. and have the party right on the ship. That would that's exciting. Yes, but not in the in the snow. I, I no, no, know, not, not I in really the cold. don't like a lot of people like it. Like right now tonight, everyone's out in all the bars in the city. Tomorrow they're going to have so much business because people are just going to go to their local bar, mm -hmm. yep. their local restaurants, they where they live, and they're going to be packed because they don't want to stay home. Mm -hmm. But me, I am staying home. Mm -hmm. I have everything ready. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, caller. Hi, Nancy. Hi, who's speaking? It's Jeff. Hi, Jeff. Oh. I'm sorry again that I couldn't make it tonight because of my leg. Oh, I'm sorry about that, too. We miss you tonight. But I think yes. everyone got scared tonight to come out because of the weather. That, that's unfortunate, too, people. But you have a good show tonight, and I'm glad to see Matilda is there. Not to mention, I saw Richie before. Yes. Yeah, R Richie's here, and Joey, and Fran, and Susan. Yeah. And um, we have so many, so many people in Griffin. Mm -hmm. The whole gang. Yes, everyone is here. The food is great. A matter of fact, Joey's going to drop off some food, some of the homemade cooking that we did tonight. We'll bring it over. Thank you. Uh, I just want to wish you a happy new year and good luck on your new time slot. Thank Hello. you. And. Uh, <laughs> Good luck for the upcoming Valentine's Day. Yes, uh, next month we'll be on on the fourth Friday yes. of February. Of course, it's going to be right after Valentine's, but we can talk about what I did for Valentine's and bring some people on here and talk about love and romance next month. I hope so. I will leave you now. Take care of yourself. Thank you. Take care. Feel Bye -bye. better. Bye, Jeff. Bye, man. Yeah, Jeff's Jeff, you know. Uh, he's one of the sponsors for Goddesses. Very nice man. And um, Faithfully is here every month. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, and truly. And, and just like Pedro, I hope that you become a regular. Of course, of course. Yeah? So, yeah, sometimes this happens. You see all those chairs empty. Last month, we were so full, we couldn't fit any anybody here. It was so packed. But, you know... It's acceptable when the weather becomes like this. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we have a snowstorm and people still come. Still come. So it all depends on mm -hmm. the person. But this particular snowstorm is severe. And so, you know... It, did you hear a lot about it? Yes, I did, on the news. Supposedly there's two different fronts, one coming in from the west and the other one from the north. So we're expected to get quite a bit of snow. Wow. Mm-hmm. Well... We should talk about dreams again, and let's forget about have the you snow. Had, have you had a dream lately? No, is that terrible? I have thoughts, lots of thoughts. My thoughts are all scattered, and I'm overwhelmed on so many things that I want to do, and there's so much Ask things. Ask people to call in about their dreams. And we are dreams. doing that. We are telling people to call in. That's okay. Joey. Joey should come here and talk to you yes, about Yes, he should. Dreams. He should sit here. Joey, why don't you sit, sit here, here and join us? Okay. Well, I lived them all. He Joey lived. lived all his dreams. Yes. Okay. Can you imagine? 
Did you live all your dreams, Pedro? Not quite. Not yet. No, he's just starting. I'm not sure. You said you, you, you're going to stay home tomorrow. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> well, I have other things in mind. No. No. Can't visit tomorrow. Sorry. That was good. If you visit, I will put you to work. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not kidding. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I don't think you mind, right? You don't mind lifting no. heavy things, right? Uh, not at all. <laughs> Matilda, we can go over your house and help you out too. <laughs> my, my house? Oh my gosh! I'm a writer. I write every day of my life. So when I, and I'm very creative. So cheers. I'm sorry. When I'm Fill writing, what happens? Before we finish this segment, uh -huh. anybody want to call in about a dream? Please call in and tell that. us what your thoughts are. Even about Valentine's and what are you going to do for Valentine's? So call in. And if you're a man who likes big women, call in. And if you're single and looking for love, please call in because there's a lot of viewers out there watching. We might make a connection online. Mm -hmm. So call in with a question, whether it's for love, romance, happiness. Nancy, are, are you preparing for another show? I mean, another party? You know what I mean? The parties that you have in the, in the evenings? I am preparing for the biggest, biggest event probably in uh, March mm -hmm. because March happens to be my birthday. And if it's a storm, I will have to wait to the end of March because really March is just a crazy month. It is. Yes. It's very March unpredictable, is, yes. And that's what I am, unpredictable. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a Pisces. Mm -hmm. So I figured maybe by March, April, we will start going back on again having goddesses mm -hmm. and meeting and greeting but before that we're going to do meetup groups we do have yeah. a meetup group and that's how I met Pedro mm -hmm. yes where we meet in different locations so we're going to start doing that because of the snow so it'll be on a smaller end you know it won't be like two three four hundred people because if it gets that big then we'd have to look for larger locations mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we are, we are. And looking. what kind of activities do you do in the meetup group? What do you do? Um, we basically talk about different things. There are some people who are into poetry. So it all depends. Sometimes we talk about, you know, what we did for the week. Or different people are into different things. Just to meet and greet, just to, like, unwind. Just to make new friends. Just to get out of the house. There are a lot of people who are sheltered. Just to. Is there music? No, actually, right now we're just doing like simple things, either dinner or museums or movies, things like that. Uh, basically, I think like or coffee, meet for coffee. Yeah. Brunch. And, and yeah, things like that mm -hmm. on a Sunday. Mm -hmm. So because of the weather, we didn't schedule anything this month. Mm -hmm. So we're waiting for it to clear up, but we just sure. might. Mm -hmm. We might do something local. But actually, Manhattan seems the place to go to because it's always clear. Queens is always, I could never get out of Queens. So if I did a meetup and Joey puts a meetup on the website, I won't be able to make it. Joey can put it up um, and somebody has to represent goddesses. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So perhaps maybe Pedro can represent goddesses if I can't make it through the snow. The women may not mind, but the men are not gonna <laughs> wanna see Pedro. No, no. <laughs> But those are the things that, that he can can help with as a volunteer. Mm -hmm. Because I cannot climb over piles of snow. I did that once. I came out of my apartment and I took a cab and I went in, I went to go over the snow and I slipped in the middle of the street. And a man came running out of his car. I don't know how he picked me up. I was like devastated. I says, oh my God, how am I gonna get up? And he picked me up from the street. Hello, caller. Hi, how are you? Hi, good evening. Who's speaking? Bob. Hi, Bob. Happy 2016. Yes, likewise. Happy 2016. Yeah. Um, tell me, where do you live, Bob? In Queens. Do you have a question for any one of us? You know, Matilda does dreams. Have you had any dreams lately? Well, not lately. This was back about two or three years ago. Yeah, it is a dream, and it, it seemed more like a reality than a dream. Yeah, because dreams do uh, appear to be real. A lot of people don't know they're dreaming. 
So they, they, they're really into the dream and they feel they're living out a piece of their life and experience. Mm -hmm. um, many of my dreams, I don't, I don't know that I'm dreaming. I think they're very real. So you have that experience, right? Well, this was more, I would have to say, more of an out-of-body experience. But, but did it take place at night when you were uh, sleeping? Oh, yeah. And you had an out-of-body? So how was that? Well, let me explain. I had a, a, I'm an animal lover. I love cats. And I had a, a cat that I lost um, in January of 2014. And uh, he was sick, he had cancer, and I was really, ah, distraught, I, I was really distraught over that. And um, I was really close to this cat. He was like my best friend, you know, animal lovers, they have their thing. And um, I, uh, my, both my parents are gone. The reason why I brought them up is because my mother was in this dream, or this experience, I should say. So what was and, the dream about? Well, I found myself walking in a... Um, I don't know how to explain it. It was kind of like a corridor, but the wall kinds of weird shapes on them, angles and, and all different kind of mathematical shapes. It's kind of hard to explain. But I remember seeing the colors blue and white. And I came to a door, and on the number of the door was uh, 613. Mm. And I opened the door, and I remember walking down... Uh, not a corridor, but like through rooms, kind of railroad rooms, if that makes sense to you. Mm -hmm. And I saw a couch on my left, and at the end of the room, there was a, uh, a room divider. And when I turned to the left, uh, my mother was there. Now, my mother had already passed on. She was gone for about maybe 14 years. And um, she, she died in uh, 2000. And I... I was crying, and I told my mother, I said, I told her I lost my best friend. And she, she was smiling, and she stuck her hand out to me, and I was hugging her, and it felt like it was real. I've, I've had dreams before in the past that were, uh, you know, dreams that make you think about things and stuff, but this was something much more than that. Hmm. So... It, if you can make anything out of that, I'd like to know what that was. Well, the fact that you're going uh, through a corridor, so usually a car corridor is a narrow place. So you're, you're, you're in a narrow place in your life, uh, somewhat limited, somewhat mm -hmm. restricted. Um, you said you went through the door, or you, so you passed a threshold. A door represents a threshold, meaning you go from one dimension into another dimension. And then um, there was a couch. You noticed the number on the door, 613. Correct. Which adds up to number one, because you know you add up the numbers. So six and three is nine, and one is 10. 10 mm -hmm. gets reduced to one. So the number one, what does number one mean to you? Uh, I. I don't know. I don't have any recollection of, of anything special to the number one. Oh, okay. So usually number one would be like a January or someone's birthday that falls on, on the first. So it has a connection to you. The fact that you saw your mother and, and you hugged her, oh, she gave you the hand, and you felt very good. You felt that it was so real. Um, you, you Most likely since you mentioned you lost your cat, and I'm sorry, and you lost your mother. So you were feeling, you know, that feeling of loss, but she mm -hmm. came uh, in the dream. It's called dream state. You're dreaming. You're in another dimension. Um, and she gave you solace. She gave you comfort because you, you felt better. Am I correct? Mm-hmm. That's true. Mm -hmm. Okay, that was, that's excellent. That is excellent. Um, what did he say his name was again? Bob. 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 Okay, Bob. Yeah. Um, I think that uh, Matilda, um, mm -hmm. you know, that sounds totally correct, what you said. It makes sense. Mm -hmm. You know, she came here to comfort him mm -hmm. and make him feel better. Mm -hmm. cause and he, he felt it. Guy. Yeah, and mm -hmm. he did feel it. And it, it is reality. It is true. Mm -hmm. So I think yeah. that but, maybe but, on one of our meetups we can have dreams. We can talk about dreams. Mm -hmm. So in our future meetup, 
if Matilda is willing to, to mm -hmm. come to one if of I'm our meetings. If I'm available, I'll go, yes, of All course. All right, so Bob, uh, keep checking our website. Do you go online? So maybe you could come to one of our meetups when we have a dream meetup. Mm -hmm. Sure. All right, Bob, thank you for calling. Thank you very much. Uh-huh, thank okay. you, Bob. Bye-bye, uh, thank you, bye-bye. Thank you. So, um, again, you're watching Goddesses for Big Beautiful Women and Men Who Love You. And this is Matilda, this is Pedro, and this is our new time slot mm -hmm. every fourth Friday of the month. And I really didn't mean to cut him off, but we only have an hour show, unfortunately. When we go on to Dreams, that could it take a take full hour. It can. And hours and mm -hmm. hours. Dreams Very are so interesting. And Pedro's dream came true tonight. It did. Did it? You got to put on my shoes. You got to, like, get to see my lace stockings. And that hug. And you got a hug. That hug. Was so so I'm going to give him hug cards so that when he meets some of the full-figured women, he'll have to ask first if he can have a hug. But if you go to an event, you could say, oh, I have a hug card, you know, can we have a hug? Can I redeem a hug? Mm -hmm. You always ask a lady if you can redeem a hug. Okay. So guys hug each other too, so, you know. I mean, hugs feel great. They really do. They, they do. do. They it's do. very comforting. You know why, Nancy? Why? Contact? Of course, the, you know, the physical contact is very uh, um, nurturing, very healing. Mm -hmm. But the endorphins inside of you, that's a chemical, and the... Um, the endorphins and the, oh, what are the others? I don't know why. They, it, but I mean, they it's go wonderful. Make it makes you feel, feel good. good. Yes, yeah. they, they, yes, they do. It yeah. does. And, I mean, there were so many crops I was going to put out, but the most important thing that we proved tonight, it's contact. And this is family here. So Goddess's family, your family, Matilda, and now Pedro became a family with us. So it's closeness and warmness. So that's what life is all about, being warm and happy with the people you're with. And if you're lonely out there and you're watching us, just give goddesses a call and come to one of our meetups. It doesn't cost money to sit in the audience and meet new people. So don't forget, you can call the number at any time. It's a live show, and we will be doing meetups. There's a lot of people who don't have internet. They could just pick up the phone at the end of the show. And don't forget to send in some sponsorship and support goddesses for what we do for big, beautiful women and admirers like Pedro. And any ideas, any restaurants out there who would like us to have events in their restaurant, please feel free to call goddesses. And also Matilda for dreams. Yes. Yes, I and that's And I want to thank Pedro for being here tonight thank you. so much. He's such it's a, a pleasure. Cutie. Yes, he is. And, he's, and he's lovely. He's very so gentle. So bye, everybody. Thank you for watching. Bye. Thanks for watching, goddesses.